Hello, everyone. I'm very honored to have an opportunity to speak on the Korean Green New Deal in international development and Korea's engagement. Let me share my presentation. Yeah. I'd like to talk about uh, Korean, the Green New Deal International Development Corporation and Korea's engagement. Let me start with the question, why Green New Deal is necessary? Nowadays, um, as a very important global challenge, we're talking about climate change. And uh, to respond uh, climate change, uh, we set uh, some goals like mitigation, adaptation, and to stay below 2.0 Celsius. And um, as important approaches to tackle climate change, we have um, a market mechanism, finance mechanism, technology mechanism on the UNFCCC. But this normal world or um, yeah, worldwide used um, expression of climate change became to a climate crisis uh, to emphasize the emergency. And uh, with this word, um, some countries declared net zero around 2050. So one of the important uh, long or mid-term um, goal is nowadays um, net zero. And uh, ever we're talking about now to stay below 1.5. And uh, against this background, Green New Deal is one of the important and powerful approach to achieve net zero. And all these are associated with the Green New Deal and, and green growth and sustainable development, etc. And which countries declared net zero? Till now, 141 countries um, committed to carbon neutrality, and two countries uh, have achieved already uh, their goals, like um, Suriname and Bhutan. And 13 countries um, have um, 13 countries have pass their targets uh, into law. Um, they are Germany, Sweden, uh, EU, Japan, UK, France, Canada, Spain, Denmark, New Zealand, Hungary, Luxembourg, and South Korea. So uh, living countries. And then um, the three countries have proposed legislation and 44 countries have their targets set as official policy and uh, 79 are under discussion on their targets. And important country or union, we have a USA and a EU mm. as for doing new deal. The main goal of the USA and Green New Deal is to bring USA green House gas emissions down to net zero and uh, to make 100% of power demand in the country through clean, renewable, and zero emission energy sources by 2030. And um, it describes various sets of policies uh, that aim to make systemic change, um, emphasizes environmental and social justice while calling for the creation of new jobs. The Green Party proposed it as a presidential campaign in 2012 and 2016, and Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Senate uh, Edward Markey attempt to get legislation passed in 2019, but uh, it failed to pass in the Senate. In EU, 
and they talk about the European Green Deal and EU aims with the plan to become the world first climate neutral bloc by 2050. It has goals in extending to many different sectors like uh, construction, biodiversity, energy transport, and food. And what's interesting is um, EU's European Green Deal has a carbon tariff mechanism, the CBAM, for countries that uh, don't curtail their greenhouse gas pollution at the same rate. The plan passed the European Parliament in 2020 in order to realize the plan, the legislation package Fit for 55 was also released. And um, to talk about the situation in other countries, um, I have to mention the initial history. Um, USA's journalist um, Thomas Friedman mentioned uh, in New York Times and New York Times Magazine um, this word Green New Deal. And his idea was uh, worked out by the UK's Green New Deal Group, which published um, a report 2008. And the concept was um, accepted by UNEP, UN Environment uh, Program. And then uh, in some countries, uh, Green New Deal or similar plans are presented. For example, in Australia, the Greens are uh, part of political party advocated the plan, Green Plan. In Canada, the not partisan coalition groups presented the Pact for Green New Deal. And UK, and a Labour Party committed to a Green New Deal at um, its um, annual conference in 2019. And in 2012, the UK government promised um, green recovery from the yeah, COVID-19 pandemic. Sorry. What is Korean version New Deal? Um, many countries are shifting toward the low carbon economy to combat climate change and um, secure a stable source of energy and uh, foster um, green industries. In Korea, meanwhile, greenhouse gas emissions have seen a steady increase of um, 2% a year from 2000 to 2016. And the country's industry structure remains to be um, carbon dependent. And the uh, Korean government plans to move toward the net zero society by supporting um, ongoing policies such as the 2030 target for uh, greenhouse gas emission reduction and the plan to have a um, renewable account for 20% um, of the country's uh, generation capacity by 2030. Against these all backgrounds, um, Korean version of New Deal was announced in July 2020. And it has three visions to become a first mover economy from a faster follower and uh, from a carbon dependent to a low carbon economy and from a socially divided to an uh, inclusive society. And it has two main policies, a uh, digital new deal and green new deal. It's, um, These policies um, is, are, are supported by an overarching policy like a stronger safety net. And um, they are also supported by a fiscal uh, investment in this institutional uh, improvement. There are 10 um, key projects um, of uh, totally 28 um, projects. Uh, under them, uh, under the Green New Deal, there are three very key, key projects like green remodeling, green energy, and eco-friendly and mobility of the future. This uh, version is um, upgraded uh, this year. 
and why. And the reasons are, are according to the government, and there have many changes internally and externally, and since the introduction of the strategy. So at home, people have yet to get out of the impacts um, of the disease. It's like education has been affected and income gaps among uh, households are widening, uh, affecting, affecting uh, the quality of child care and uh, living standards and um, concerns um, are rising among uh, young adults about jobs, income and housing. Demand for labor is rising in new industries such as software. It's transition to digital and uh, green economy is speeding up, uh, which requires systemic support for business and re restruction, as well as large scale uh, labor or mobility that follows. Externally, in Korea is faced with the carbon neutrality issue and the government will use this challenge as an opportunity to develop green growth engine. What uh, uh, is upgraded to two new policies of the human new deal and local new deal uh, are developed and some new programs of digital and uh, green new deal are also developed. So um, investments is also expanded from 160 trillion to 220 trillion one and uh, jobs to create, the estimated uh, jobs to create uh, so are also um, raised 1.9 to 2.5 million. And um, what is the uh, Korean version Green New Deal? This is an analysis. Korea uh, has a strength, according to the Korean government's analysis, a strong social awareness in environmental issues and high-end digital and IT technology. As weakness, Korea has um, carbon intensive industrial ecosystem or a low generation of clean energy and some opportunities and threats. So um, regarding all these um, uh, analysis, uh, Korea has to focus on four areas. Uh, they are green transition of infrastructures, a low carbon and decentralized economy, innovation in the green economy, the industry, so again, a carbon neutral basis. So, um, under Green New Deal, we have four um, focus areas mentioned, and they are uh, all together um, 11 projects. They are like um, you know, turning public facilities into zero energy building, zero energy building, and restoring the territorial marine and urban ecosystems in clean and safe water, efficient energy management, and um, promoting renewable energy use or uh, hydrogen elect electric and hydrogen vehicle, etc. Let's have a look. Um, a brief history of the responding climate crisis of Korea. Korea has since 2009, important goals, laws, policies, institution, committee, international organizations in, uh, in Korea, and uh, some important international events. As a goal, we set, uh, of course, a national, nationally determined contribution, and uh, we are planning to update our NDC this year uh, to cut off 40% of the base year 2018. A newly um, yeah, 2050 carbon neutrality declaration was done. Mm. 
2020 is fine. Yes. And um, under uh, some important um, national laws, uh, Frame Act on Carbon Neutrality uh, has passed newly in Korean Parliament. And um, important under important policies it's like five year plan for green growth, we have updated already twice, and base plan for climate change response, national greenhouse gas emission reduction roadmap, and newly uh, we established the uh, Korean Green Korean New Deal. One of the important um, institution uh, we have since two thousand fifteen. Korean uh, emission trading system and um, one important committee. Uh, we established the Presidential Committee on Carbon Neutrality since this year. And since 2012, we have GGGI, and uh, since 2013, we have GCF in Korea located. And um, some uh, important events to tackle climate crisis. Uh, Korea hosted uh, this year a P4G, the Seoul Summit, partnering for green growth and the global goals 2030, and participation in G7 in New Deal. Now, how to do Green New Deal internationally? Korea has national goals like NDC 2030, carbon neutrality 2050, or uh, national plans uh, associated to these goals, laws and instructions it's like frame, or flag, frame Act on Carbon Neutrality, or national plans and strategies like the Korean New Deal, and actions uh, to implement these plans and to achieve uh, the goals, uh, all kinds of activities, activities are uh, done in process and um, some uh, important programs and projects uh, for these are in process. I think with the developed countries, we have to lead together the global world and we have to set up um, common goals and um, we have to plan together and implement it together so that we can lead uh, the global society toward carbon neutrality and to tackle climate crisis. In the developing countries, we have to share our global challenges and values, just like carbon neutrality, and how we have to approach uh, to achieve these goals we have cooperate uh, with them and to assist, uh, to prepare for laws and institutions necessary for them. And of course, uh, we have to do actions together uh, for implementing. This slide shows um, how the situation is um, in COVID-19 COVID in ASEAN. Mm, this is cases last 20 for hours. So now it's uh, three days old uh, data. Anyway, um, in some countries, the cases are still a very um, hard bitter. The Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, and the uh, totally uh, vaccinated percent. In some countries, are very high. For example, in Singapore, Cambodia, Malaysia, but generally, uh, yeah, it's very, very low. For example, in Myanmar, it is very, very low. And GDP growth rate um, it didn't work uh, than expected. This uh, a bit thicker blue line shows uh, what happened really. So in the year 2012 or 2021, uh, the, the line uh, shows um, less um, growth in housing. And uh, 
as for sustainable development course and sustainable development course 13 is climate change so i'd like to show an indicator the number of deaths and missing persons and the direct affected persons due to climate related disasters per hundred thousand population in 2016 and 2018 it uh, is around three thousand five hundred people is a very big big uh, number and cl climate crisis and as a uh, hot extreme days in southeast asia is increasing with very high confidence and and heavy precipitation in southeast asia is also uh, increasing and um, the agriculture and ecological drought, it's not uh, agreed, <laughs> definitely. And anyway, generally the climate crisis and the climate crisis um, related um, extreme days, uh, extreme weather is increasing in, in Southeast Asia. Green New Deal ODA of Korea. And this is also another uh, national plan. This is a combined plan of Green New Deal and uh, ODA. The goal is to lead response to global climate change and green recovery for coexistence. This is the same goal of the five year uh, ODA plan of Korea. And, and this plan has three strategies to strength to strengthen support for green transition in developing countries and to lead Green New Deal global cooperation and to support for expanding partnerships for a win-win growth. Under the first strategy, there are as important contents, investment, the green field, the establishment of an ecosystem tailored to the development stage of developing countries, etc. And uh, under the second strategy, uh, they have a contents uh, of leading a green ODA initiative to match Korea's international status. And under the third strategy, uh, to provide the Korea's strong areas to meet the needs of um, developing countries, etc. With this um, Korean Green New Deal ODA, what can we do with the uh, Asian. Um, I showed already three strategies um, in brief. It is strengthening supply and demand, leading global cooperation and win-win growth. We can do, um, we can make it together uh, national plans, policies and institutions necessary for carbon neutrality. So in the field of policy and institution, and we can cooperate in uh, important areas of Green New Deal areas, it's so like building water energy industry, according to the Korean Green New Deal ODA areas, and um, in, in R&D and in technical assistance. And uh, also uh, our cooperation area can be um, in capacity building, uh, not only technology or industry area, but also in policy and institution areas. Oops. Sorry. Uh, this slide shows an, an application case uh, of Green New Deal ODA project. Uh, it is um, in process. Uh, as a basic structure, uh, we started to identify a value oriented. So international challenges and value, what they are. And we try to see coherence with the domestic policies. And then uh, some strategic uh, principles are uh, identified. They are supply and demand, renewable development, increased needs, etc. And um, because uh, carbon neutrality um, to tackle climate crisis, we need a very long term um, actions. So we thought about. Uh, to operate in our, our 3D steps. It means R&D, demonstration, 
and diffusion. Why? To keep the ultimate impact of all steps and stages. So the impact is like um, climate change related and um, a positive impact. Uh, to preserve such impacts, uh, we have to keep all these um, steps and stages um, toward our ultimate um, impact. So uh, on this uh, basic structure, um, we are doing an AKCF project as ASEAN Korea Cooperation Fund. And we recognize and identify our uh, orienting value. And it is a responding to climate crisis necessary 2050, green recovery, and green deal, green new deal and uh, our uh, strategic principles or operation or process are um, it uh, must be a case study of green new deal RDA based on carbon neutrality or Korean version of green new deal and also it could be a follow-up action of uh, ASEAN uh, Korea commemorative summit of, uh, in 2019 considering principles of uh, green new deal RDA and we but after R&D and uh, with the results of R&D uh, of the target sector, waste management, and uh, we thought uh, to bridge R&D and cooperation projects. So this uh, AKC project starts uh, from this part, um, exactly speaking, and um, we try to include all uh, ASEAN member countries and uh, do capacity building, feasibility study, demonstration in a big and a, a small scale. And then uh, with the result, uh, we organize a communication platform or international conference and for further capacity building and then um, to deploy these uh, important lessons and outcomes together. So our imp impact in this case is circular economy and waste management. Okay, um, newly we hosted a P4G um, international conference in Seoul and our president Moon mentioned our uh, Institute Green Technology Center in the context of assistance for securing eco-friendly technologies in developing countries. With this, uh, I have to say thank you very much for your attention and end up my presentation. Thank you very much.